Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified, and uh, welcome once again. In today's video in Azure, I'm here to talk about what are the security features available uh, for the storage account that you create. So as you can see on the screen, I have already created a storage account with the name IT Simplified. It is the latest version, which is V2. That is what is recommended going forward, and it is under the resource group ITSRG and in central location of Canada. So let's go inside and explore the security functionalities in this storage account. So on the blade, you can see that I have the first option, which is access control. So let me go and expand that. And from here, you have a couple of tabs uh, available. You have check access, role assignment, deny assignment. This is for the legacy classic administrator and the roles. So as we know that in Azure AD, you have uh, different users and groups. And from this area, you can specify what role you want to assign so that people can access or uh, make changes to the uh, storage account, the one that we have right now. So this is storage account I created and I have the role of owner and uh, if you know that there are different roles that you can assign within uh, Azure uh, environment, there are three top roles which includes the owner, the contributor and the reader. So if I go under the roles, you can see these are the some of the top three roles that you can assign. So owner has basically all the rights to the storage account he can make changes give access to other people deny access to other people so he has a complete uh, access uh, or complete owner of this as the name suggests then you have the contributor uh, which is uh, very similar functionalities to owner the only difference is that uh, he cannot assign access uh, to other people within azure active directory and then you have the reader in which uh, as the name suggests again uh, they can read what are, what is there, the information within storage account. He cannot edit, he cannot change, he cannot give access to other people. And you can see that there are a whole list of uh, options available. So from here also, you can give access what they can do with this storage account, right? So this is one of the options uh, you can, uh, you can uh, utilize. So let me go back to the storage account one more time. And on the left side, you can see that I have under settings what you call access keys. So let me go inside this. And you have the name of the storage account. And then by default, there are two keys which are generated, key one and key two. You can use either of them. So if you're using uh, uh, any other services, uh, generally what is needed is that you need the storage account. And then you need this key through which the authentication will, will take place. Uh, you can always go and uh, change the keys so you can see that the current key will become invalid and it's not required do you want to regenerate so you can always regenerate the keys you can regenerate uh, both key one and uh, key two and the reason you'll do that uh, because the security reason in case uh, you think that the person to whom this key is given uh, he's a security risk or any of those kind of scenario you want to uh, maybe regenerate the key but you should be uh, i will say a bit tactical or there should be a planning which should go behind before the key is generated because any services which are dependent on these key it takes on an average 10 minutes for those uh, sync to take place so by default two keys are generated in case one key got corrupted you can use the other one and you have the functionality of regenerating uh, uh, both the keys but as I said again that uh, a proper planning should take place before you regenerate any key so that's another way that uh, you can uh, secure your account then also let's look at the encryption so still in the settings so you can see that the data is encrypted while it is at rest and that is the default option which is always recommended so that uh, no authorized uh, uh, access can take place if you want you can generate your own key uh, you can have the entire key url or you can select from the key vault key vault is one of the services within azure 
uh, which allows you to uh, safeguard a uh, key or key management services uh, that you can uh, use it, it's a paid service so just to keep it in mind it's not a free but if you want you can also have uh, the key vault and you can uh, manage all the keys from that location so that's another way that you can also uh, keep the data or keep the keys actually safe and still under the settings under encryption you have a shared access signature so let me just go inside this And here you can have a SAS a signature, which is a short form of shared access signature and can be used for blob, storage file, queue table. These are the uh, four different kinds of storages uh, which are offered. And you can apply this to services, container, or object. And you can specify, depending upon what kind of access you want to give, you can give read, write, delete, list, add, create, update, process. So these are some of the options. And you can also set an expiry date and time. So from what time to what time you want these access signature to be valid, you can specify that time. And you can also specify uh, what time zone. And you can also put to what IP address range from which these can be accessed. And you can specify the protocol, whether it's HTTPS or you want to use both HTTPS and HTTP. So all those functionalities are there. So sometimes the question arises, why you will have a shared access signature when you have the access keys? Uh, the reason I would say is that uh, if you have the access key, this is like a complete access to your home, right? The, the person or that user or that group will have a complete access to the storage account. But if you want to restrict that, uh, you can do it by using shared access signature. And as you can see, you can drill down into uh, what uh, what permission you want to give if you want to give only read permission you can specify here you can give only write permission and you can also uh, specify for how long these uh, access signature will be uh, valid and uh, I would recommend that you should always use the HTTPS protocol so that uh, it's a secured way but you have the functionality of utilizing both HTTPS and HTTP HTTP or hypertext uh, threat text protocol. So both these options have labeled, but again, the difference is that uh, as computer the access key, share access signature can drill down and can restrict you and you have further uh, functionalities available to, uh, to log down that information within the storage account. And uh, further going into, you can also go and uh, firewall and virtual networks. You can give access to all the network or you can also specify which selected networks you want to give access from. If you already have an existing virtual network within the Azure environment, you can add that or you can also create a new one, right? So if I click on this, uh, I, I don't have right now any virtual network, but if you have, you can uh, specify over here and you can add that. But if you want to create new, you can click on add new virtual network. And uh, you can create a virtual network from here, uh, the address space you want to choose. And you can also give access from this specific virtual network. So you can drill down to that VNet level too. And you can also, if you have a firewall, uh, maybe if you have a hybrid kind of environment, uh, you can have uh, IP range to allow. So you can give uh, address range from this to this you can allow uh, the access to that storage account or the services within that. You can give exceptions also. You can allow trusted Microsoft services to access. You can only give read access to storage logging from any network, or you can only read access to storage metrics from any network. So these are some of the some of the functionalities within firewalls and virtual network. So you saw that you know uh, uh, how. Uh, you can uh, log down or you can protect your storage account uh, which you create uh, within uh, with the Azure environment. I hope you found this video useful on the security parameters of your storage account within Azure. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.